beautiful people it's sherry moulton back with another video i wanted to just say thank you people for sticking through my last video anything and everything that went wrong went wrong <laughs> story of my life but i the end result was so actual gorgeous that i had to put it up so thank you for bearing with me with that the torch didn't work the i put my upper body into the painting anyways thank you very much for sticking through that so today we're going to do a another bling bling this one's a custom order from my other cousin susan i have two of them and um yeah so i'm gonna do that but before i start i just wanted to say thank you to colette for sending me um i got this parcel in the mail today Thank you very, very much. She sent me this amazing silicone brush. Thank you. I'm gonna try that out. Um, nice little letter as well. Thank you again, Colette. So anyways, yeah, so we're gonna do, I did a color. Um, we're gonna do the, um, the hammered black and the copper again, but I'm adding those half beads and all kinds of other stuff. So I'm gonna, bring you down and we're gonna get right at it I have a new stand for my camera too so I'm hoping this works out there we go so I'm gonna go through my stuff here this is um, the rust-oleum metallic finish this one is the copper Whip, copper which is wonderful and the other one is the uh, universal hammered this one is black and i've spray painted this i'm not going to spray paint them on canvas i already did that once in a video i'll link the video number because i'm old and forgetful i'll link the number in the description box for you so i'm going to use the ashland um, glass filler from michael's this one is gold i'm going to use some of the the copper that I colored in my other video. Um, I'm going to adhere it with my two part resin. This is crystal resin. I will also link the a link for it in the description box. It's a, a box. Sorry, it's a Canadian owned business run out of Toronto. It's free shipping in Canada, which is exciting for us Canadians. But um, yeah, so I'll link that in for you. So my glitter I'm going to use, this one is Recollections Fine Glitter Black. I'm going to use Recollections, um, what do they call it? Specialty Glitter. This one's Onyx. Sorry, I'll let you see it. Onyx. I'm going to use Martha Stewart Oh, my favorite in the world fire opal confetti I am going to use maybe a little bit of this we'll see um, the recollections this is the fine glass glitter this one is gold and the beads I bought the other day I only thought there was two colors but I'm pretty sure there's three I'm not going to put the silver on but there's the black the black half beads which is cool I'll show you the bag um, I got these at Michaels as well they're called resin gems and with that we're gonna get at it oh and I'm also gonna use my um, some of the pearls whoa that one's got a string on it I got various sizes, so I'm gonna use all these pretty, pretty, pretty ones. All right, gonna get a glove on my hand. It's coming along very well. It's just getting itchy now. All right, I'm gonna get my gloves on and we're gonna get right at it. I have pre-mixed my resin which all I mean by pre-mixing is just I put part A part B together mixed 
and that way I don't waste your time on the camera. And here we go. As they say, let's the magic begin. I'm just going to go straight down the center. Try not to go over the edges. I've mixed two ounces and I'm 100% sure that I will not be using it all. There we go, right down the center. I love this hammered look. I actually <laughs> redid the canvas. I did it twice because um, it showed white through onto um, the canvas. So I don't know if you can see some still, maybe a little bit here and there, but it's kind of cool. It's a neat effect. If you, I'm going to bring you up before I start doing this. Can you see how it, uh, whoops I can't go too far okay um, it's all puckered which is what the hammer does and it's gone over top of the copper so it's kind of cool and I don't think you can see it if, if I'm hoping some of it still sticks through and I'll show you with a close-up later all right we are going to make this a little bit wider Hope everyone's having a wonderful day. I had to come home to get some orders done, make some videos for you people. And then I'm back to the trailer tomorrow. And I did put a question up. Oh, I should have brought it down. In my I'm making another video, so I'll show I will show you what I mean by the bird cage um chandelier i ended up finding this a really good deal and i'm a nerd i like to repurpose things and um i thought i would make another chandelier for the trailer We have two nice big trees at the trailer that um, would look nice hanging from. And our lot is way back in the woods at the end of the park, which is makes it dark. And yeah, so we need a little bit of light. Just gonna make sure these are even. You don't want them all all be long. A couple, bring one or two down here this way, and then even it up there. All right, I think that's that with my resin. Let me just scoop that out a bit even more. There we go. All right, I'm gonna do my glass first. Let's try the stuff that we had mixed up. Yeah, you can still see the silk. Yeah. Mm. That was what I didn't like about that one. You can still see the under all of the white parts of the mirror. All right. But we're going to use this chunky stuff. here and there and again like I said I just love this wow, it's so chunky this gold and somebody was telling me to get fire pit um, glass quarter inch and it's about what this would be but the only thing is here in Canada it's very expensive they were saying it was like ten dollars well I went to go look at it and it was I think it was almost a hundred dollars for a 10 pound bag from Amazon anyway. All right, so we'll do that. 
Now let's place some of these in here. And I don't want to do a whole bunch of them, but oops. Just a few, just to see what it looks like. Stagger them around, and I'm going to put some, oops, make sure it's flat. There we go. Yeah, there are three different colors. I kept just thinking it was just silver and and the and the uh, black, but it's not. Let me put another one over here. Because I want to come back with some pearls too. Put one up here, and then I'll put another black one in there, and I think that's it for these. Stagger that. Ah, shoot. I said black. There we go. Alright, now let's get some pearls. Stagger them. Stagger them. I just love the, like, it's so, like, chocolate and rich, this color. And and you want to make sure, oh, where's my little tool? that the hole is on the side so you're not seeing the hole that's that that one's good this one the flip that's good that's good pardon me if my head's in there there we go. Now I got these little ones and we'll stagger those down. Whoop. I want to make sure they're in there. There we go. I also have another video coming. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. I am making a rainbow out of all of my my broken glass that we I did the other day. There, grab some more little ones. Let's see. I just don't want to put them too many. Uh, one more. There. That's it for the pearls. I'm going to put them away. I quite like those half beads. I think they're quite pretty. Let me see. There we go. Get that away. Some more glass. I'm going to fill this in with some more of this broken glass because Couple of those little ones I gotta turn over. So I just want to let you know I am loading up my Etsy shop. I apologize that it was empty, 
but I had to figure out how to ship my stuff properly. I did not want to send it out um, not knowing, you know, selling it and then not being able to figure out how to ship it. So I have that all rectified. So I will be putting a bunch of these bling blings in the Etsy shop in the next week or so. So keep an eye if you've been looking. It's quite funny because I'm getting people texting me saying, your Etsy shop is empty. And I'm like, well, yeah, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't uh, rectify that at the moment, but all right, what style am I gonna, I'm gonna use this. Let's start off with the fire opal. And I'm gonna take off my glove because I have to feel this. I don't know, it's weird. I am weird. I'm gonna leave the glove on my bad hand so it's protected, but here we go. Up high and do not let it go in a big clump, right? Because like I said, once this hits that resin, it's there. You won't be able to scrape it off. Get some more on this upper part here. Perfect. I just, I don't know, I just love that fire opal. Okay. I hate to do this because the black comes out so much and I don't want a big blob. Uh, so this is on this side. I am trying to do it so that it doesn't come out fast. So a little bit of shake because like I said, oh shootles. Because you don't want clumps. And it's very hard not to do that, especially when you've got the black. You can see it through here. Poop. Poop, poop, poop. With the hay, this is for my cousin, so we're gonna throw it all on there. Let's try the the glass, the silver glass, or the gold glass glitter, sorry. I'm gonna put that up here. Try and put somewhere that, hide that black. good. I'm going to come back with the onyx. It is so pretty and bright. Nice and sparkly. Oh my goodness. The lid don't want to go on straight. Sorry guys. There we go. Now this ionix, I think I had to do the same thing because let me try it, but I think it didn't come out quite the shaker part. No, nope, the holes are too small. All right. In the hand it goes. And shake, shake, shake. Oh my goodness, this is so holographic. It's kind of cool. I just want to make sure. Down the middle there, so it's not all. There we go. I think I'm not going to put any more on there because <laughs> ah, I'm trying to put the lid of something else on that, sorry. Um, yeah, I don't want to put any more on there. I was going to put these on, but those are silver. So we'll put those on in our next video. So yeah, so we're going to let that sit. And hopefully it will turn out beautiful. With that being said, I will let it sit overnight. 
and we will come back and do the big reveal tomorrow. See you in a bit. Bye. Love. See you in a bit, guys. <laughs> Bye. Hello, we're back. We're going to give this a shake, shake, shake. Here we go. A good brush on the inside. Upward, I should say, not inside. All that glitter. Oh, how did I get that in there? It's a clean brush. It looked like there was like a hunk of dust. over and do a good shake and turn it this way. I have my puppy pad upside down so that the plastic side so I can catch everything. so three-dimensional very pretty where are the beads that I put on one's there 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 they're okay kind of got lost a little bit in there but there's your painting Susan Woohoo! now I'm gonna bring you up I'm going to show you what I was, I did a little bit of a poll about my light for outside. And in case you people didn't know what a, I would have never known what a birdcage chandelier was, but here it is. I'm going to bring it out this way so you can see it better. Maybe come back. This is the birdcage chandelier. I was looking at this, but I don't think so. So this will come. I will dismantle everything. Look, it's got bling on it. I may add some dangly, more dangly ones on the bottom, but so that's kind of what I was wanting to redo. So anyways, on that note, hope you all have a wonderful day bring it back down so you can see this wonderful day and if you have not yet subscribed please do if you haven't and hit the like button hit that bell so you get notifications and yeah give it a share I'll talk to you later have a wonderful day love you guys bye